Hey, how's it going? It's Keith Townsend from the CTOadvisor.com with a CTO dose. We're on site at Rubric Inc., winners of the 2017 Best of VM World Show, and I'm joined with Paul by Paul Woodward. Wood Ridge? Woodward. Woodward. That's easy enough. Yeah. So, Paul, introduce yourself to the CTO Advisor audience. Sure. Um, like you said, I'm Paul Woodward. I blog podcast and generally all of my stuff can be found at explorevm.com that's my twitter handle as well um, professionally i'm a data center engineer i focus on just about every data center technology out there all right so data center engineer we're at rubric inc we just completed their uh camp rubric which is introducing us to what's basically a backup solution right well, I would say it's, it's a little bit more than just backup. Okay. Um, what they're looking to do is not only give you the, the backup ability, but also make recovery, which is more important, I would say, than backup, make, it, make recovery easy. Um, and they're also looking to do all sorts of uh, data collection, uh, monitoring, all sorts of fun tools with their new uh, PRISM. Okay. Uh, is that no? No, no, no it wasn't Prism. We're, it was, we're uh, both coming off Nutanix next. So yes, we are. That's okay. <laughs> and Bipple found help found new Nutanix found yes. invest in uh, Nutanix. So it, it's all within the family. So Polaris. Okay. That's what it was. Yes, Polaris. Polaris, not not Prism. So let's talk about that. One of the things that you've been blogging about a lot has been uh, the value of engineers and technical people to understand the business value of what they do, how they bring value to the business. So right. rubric may for some be considered traditional backup, but again, we've learned about rubric as a platform, so Polaris, data management, uh, uh, cloud migration, a lot of different use cases. Right. Help connect the dots for us. What did you learn today that kind of helps where's the business value especially if i'm already using conval net backup uh ibm protect emc's uh, alvamar there's a bunch of different backup solutions on in the market right. what does something like a rubric or a modern modern data protection platform where's the business value in that so from what I saw, because today was in fact my first hands-on experience touching Rubrik, I've known of them for a few years, obviously, you know, spoken to them at various events. Um, what I see is it's simplified deployment and management, mm -hmm. which frees up the end user, the, was it, whether it's the engineer, whether it's your help desk, whether it's your architects, whoever's actually in charge of those backups and recoveries, it frees up their time. It makes it uh, such that you can you can integrate it with ServiceNow. You can do something super simple and create an end user portal. They can restore their own files, and it allows the engineers to actually focus on new projects or look into new endeavors that will actually help increase the productivity of the environment. So when I look at a typical enterprise, I'll see a backup at someone's job, like an right. entire job or even department of people. Their job is to manage backups yeah so from a business value you know same story as hci where you reduce the overall load on your it for doing this extremely important job but very mundane job right. of backup which monitoring backups really doesn't add value it's the ability to restore backups to your point earlier self right. whether it's via self-service or reducing the overall overhead associated with it so that customers can take advantage of platforms, data platforms such as Polaris. Right, absolutely. So, Paul, tell us, where can people find out more about you, about what you're doing, and anything you want to plug? Um, you can follow me at uh, ExploreVM on Twitter, ExploreVM.com, and the ExploreVM podcast can be found on every major podcast provider. All right. and. As usual, you can find me on the web at CTO Advisor on Twitter. The CTO Dose or CTOdose.com is where you can find these videos and more, including this in podcast format. Until the next CTO Dose, we'll talk to you next time.